என் பேர் சுசீலா நான் வந்து ப்ரொவர்ஸில் வேலை செய்கிறேன் பேங்களூரில் பிறந்தேன் Shashila is a handicapped spinster of 32 years old living in Munjikal, Kodaikanal. She has been working in an all-women's job center called Progress. Seven years ago, Shashila lost her father and her uncle, who was the only man in the family, passed away a month ago as well. Now, there are no male figures in her family. She has no other siblings either and she has to support her nephew and her mom all by herself. At the age of five, young Shashila was hit with the mean disease of polio, which left her handicapped. As a result, she has a problem with one of her legs, which makes it hard for her to press the pedal for the sewing machine. However, she walks to work every morning. Sheila's biggest concern is not her income or her family, but her very badly damaged house. From the video, it is quite clear that this house is in fact unlivable. When it rains, the house gets flooded and the water level rises quite high. This could be an indication of poor planning in the architecture of the house. One of the walls in her house would collapse if the bed that is pushed against it is moved away. Due to this unlivable condition of her house, Shashila and her mother are living in another rented house not far from their own. The monthly rent for this house is 1,500 rupees, which is extremely expensive compared to her income, which is 1,700 rupees. When the students of NHS learned of Sushila and her conditions, we decided to help her rebuild her house by firstly working on the roof and the wall that could crumble any moment. Then we will step by step bring her house back to a livable condition. Won't it be wonderful to see her start a whole new life where she doesn't have to spend all her income to pay off rent and be happy again in a place she can call home? Wouldn't it be great to see Shashila go back to her own home from work every day? We, the National Honor Society of KIS, are an organization that tries to answer these questions by taking active action.